Hello guys. This is Karthik from Exitautomation.com and this is part 4 of our understanding mock video series. And in this part we're going to use mock to test the times a method is being called. So before watching this part I would request you to watch part 3 since this part will have some similarities from that part. Mock to test times method being called. So we will see how to use mock to verify the number of times a method is being called. And this kind of test is very much helpful while we try to see if our intended functionality is happening as expected. So we might be using this kind of functionality to test if a particular method that we are interested in is being called and also we are interested in to see how many times the method is being called. So these kinds of functionalities we can achieve using mock. So for that, let me first flip to Visual Studio. So this is the same project which we worked in our last video of this video series. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to make some changes in this particular code. So the changes are I'm going to delete this complete code. And what I'm going to do is first of all, I'm going to test this particular functionality. So let's say I want to test this in our employee PF detail class. I want to see if my employee get employee salary method is being called if I call this is PF eligible method. And I want to see if this method is called at least one time. So if I execute this particular method, I want to see if this get employee salary method is being called. This is my test functionality for now. So in order for this to be achieved, what I'm going to do is I'm going to first create the employee PF detail class. So let's first create that. So I'm going to first create PF detail class. So new employee PF detail. And as you can see, it expects me to pass the I employee personal details. So we can also pass this as new employee personal detail, which is a concrete class. So I'm not going to do that. Rather, we can use our mock for creating a personal detail class for me. So I'm going to do this using this mock and I'm going to pass the I employee personal details and then I'm going to pass this particular mock object. So the mock dot object. So this is the way that you can pass the mock object here. All right. So this is set here. And then I need to act on the particular function. So the function which I'm interested in is PF eligible method. So here you need to pass something. So you can pass one or two or something like that. Or you can say it dot is any integer. So you can pass any integer. That is not my intention right now. I can pass any integer. But my whole intention is to see at least one time my this method is being called. The get employee salary. And this get employee salary method is actually sitting in my employee personal detail class, which is not the employee PF details, but it is my employee personal details class. For that, what I'm going to do is, so I need to assert now. So for asserting, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to do this mock personal details dot verify, and I'm going to bring in a Lambda expression this time. And you can see that this verify accepts expressions as well. Right, and it is of type I employ personal detail because that is what we have passed there. So I'm going to use a lambda expression and I need to check if my get employee salary method is being called at least one time. So get employee salary because this is coming from this particular class, and then I'm not interested in the integer it is being passed, so it dot is any integer and if we put a comma there as a second parameter you can see that there is something called times so this times will tell you how many times your method is being called or not you can specify that 
so uh, let's say I'm going to say this times dot you can say exactly one time or at least one time or at most one time or never or once so you can call any one of them so we can say at least once or exactly one something like that so that's it so this is how you can do your testing to verify if at least one time the method is being called so let's quickly run and see if this really works and you can see that the test card passed so which means this method has called at least one time so let's say if I change this to two so let's say I'm doing it in a wrong way and I want it to be called at exactly two times so now if I run this particular code you can see that this method will fail because the expected invocation for me is two times but it was called only one time and this way you can verify that your method is calling at least one time or not and in the next video of this video series we can see a complex scenario and we can verify how a method is being called multiple times exactly based on the input that you are passing so thank you very much for watching this video and have a great day